Hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome. Hello, good evening, Everyone. teacher. How you doing? How you doing tonight, huh? I am good, teacher. Great to see ya. Great to see you, dear students of Intermediate Module 2. Welcome to one more session. Today is the day for your presentations. That's terrific. How do you feel? How do you feel? Are you kind of ready for it? Did you get organized with your peers? Yeah, teacher, we are ready. All right. Was it difficult to get organized? Yes, teacher. Great, yes. great, great. Okay, great. In that case, let's go ahead and uh, call the attendance. Let's call the attendance now so we can jump that first step. I'll go ahead and um, log in right now. There you go. Okay, so Ana Julia Mayor Ana Julia Mayora Ramirez. Is it true? Rodriguez. Yes, Mayora, Mayora. Mayora, Mayora. Mayora Rodriguez, right? Sí. Mm, okay. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. I am here, teacher present. Very well. Let's let's see, let's see. I got you right here. Okay, and Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I am here to share. Okay, great. Okay, Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Are you here, teacher? All right, great to hear you. There you go, I have more audio now. And the Maris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. All right, good sound. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Presentation. Already, thank you. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. All right, good evening, Elmer. Let's go Maybe. with Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas, okay? And then Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Present. All right, Emma Jamilet Correa Madrid. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Present, Present teacher. Thank I'm you, Emma. Emma. Okay. How about Giselle? Yes. How about Josephette Abigail Miranda Chavez? Here, teacher. Okay, I hear you a little far. It is Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present teacher. Miss Hernandez, okay. Um, Joel Eulises Menjibar Mendoza. Present teacher. Josue Neftali Cibrian Hernandez. Present teacher. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Manuel Alejandro Barrias Arce. Here, yeah, teacher. All right, glad to have you in the class. And Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman de Santos. Present teacher. All right, welcome to class. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. Present teacher. Great, great. Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. I'm here. I'm glad to hear that. Na Nelson Rolando Melgar. Present teacher. All right. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. <clears throat> Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Present teacher. Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. 
René David Calderón Peñate. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. Good evening, I'm here. Great, Sandra. How about Sara Maria Molina Cubios? Present teacher. Good evening, Sarah and Saul Arnulfo Men Hever Crespin. Present teacher. All right, great, great, great. Well, 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 uh, let's get started. Let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna pass you the microphone. I'm gonna have my um, my notepad. Okay, thank you, Rene. I got your attendance here. Let me see who else. Okay, no problem, no problem. And I'm gonna open my notepad so I can take note of any um, area of difficulty, any weakness, any mistake, any grammar correction, pronunciation, and I will help you as much as I can, okay? Ready to start? Who's, who's ready to start? Do we have a volunteer? Do we have a couple volunteer? Teacher, we can start. Would you like to start? All right, I like that proactivity. Yeah. I like that proactivity. Uh, so we're gonna have Josiveth, right? We're gonna have Josiveth. And? Is that right? Rossi. So yes. Oh, oh, it's Rossi. It's Rosario with um, Arnulfo, is that right? No, Josiveth. Josiveth? Yes, teacher. Let me see. Okay, Josiveth, you're going to go with who? Iris. With Iris. Okay, perfect. You want to go first? Perfect, yeah. perfect, perfect, perfect. In that case, let's go ahead and share with you anything you could share. This is your seven-minute exposition. Guys, if you have questions about their exposition, uh, you, we can ask questions at the end. I'm counting seven minutes starting right now. Let's go. Okay. Can you all see the screen? Yes, I absolutely see it, yes. Good evening, everyone. Uh, we are going to talk about phrasal verbs. As we know, phrasal verbs are that one that can that that are made up of a bird and particle. Um, these phrasal verbs are very common in in English, especially in in, in informal contexts. Um, as we, as we can see here, uh, this sentence says, they've called off the meeting. Um, in this sentence, as we know, the very call uh, by itself has, has another meaning that, that we of the particle. As we know, cold is, is that one that is when we talk to someone and, um, uh, on phone, and when when we add the particle, uh, now has another meaning that is cancel. Uh, the phrasal verbs are there are two main types of phrasal verbs: uh, separable and inseparable. Separable uh, is when we uh, when we when we have the main, the bird and um, when we can, when we, when we have the bear and the particle, uh, and this can be, can be apart or together. For example, in this, um, in this phrase, they called the meeting off, or we can say they, they called off the meeting. Both of these sentences has the same meaning but the difference is that the particle has in different place, but, but has the same meaning. 
And when we use phrasal verbs, we can use object pronouns. As we know, the object pronouns are, are this, me, you, he, and her, it, and then. Uh, we use these object pronouns to replace the, the such a pronouns. As we can see, the, our, our such a pronouns in this, in this sentence is the meaning. Uh, so we can replace by it, like, like in this sentence. The meaning, they, they called it off. Um, we use um, auto pronouns for to not sound repeated, repetitive. Then we have inseparable. Uh, this is when, uh, when, when the bear and the particle, uh, no, it, it cannot be cannot be separable. For example, if or uh, in other words, uh, this this the bear and the and the particle are always together. For example, here, who who looks after the baby when you when you're when you're at home. Um, as we can see, we use the, the noun, the baby, but is, is then or is after by the, the, this word, after. Um, but in this case, if we, if we used um, the particle, the, uh, no, sorry, the object pronoun, an object pronoun, it has to be all, always after the particle. Um, uh, in the in this sentence, we can we can use the the object pronoun her, her or him. This depends of the gender of the baby. For example, is the is the baby is female, we can say like uh, who looks after her when when you're at at work. And that's it. Now my my partner will continue. Okay, I compart. Um, please, um, quiero compartir mi pantalla, pero no me permite. Josibet, puedes dejar de compartir para que yo pueda compartir. Okay. Se supone que no estoy compartiendo. No sé. oh, bueno, está bien, continuamos porque el tiempo se da. Um, hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. My name is Iris Rosario. Uh, the million dollar question. How to know all the force bears means? Mm -hmm. You just have to uh, memorize them on learn it. Oh, or learning to record them. Um, okay, in the moment, presentation, my, okay. Okay, a uh, two part verse, for example, what's up is the two parts verse. Um, the two part verse or parcel verse or the person bears a pers a uh, first bears equal a bears plus a person. For example, put off put equal bears of a particle. To par bears can um, change in meaning. Put to place. Put off to a post Um. In the chat, I share a PDF of a parcel verse for you. Uh, I will show you some compound verse and sentences of this. Uh, for example, uh, answer back. Answer back is he always answer back to older people. And cleaner up, cleaner up 
I cleaned up my ho my home, my house on Saturday. Uh, in the example, I cleaned my house up on the Saturday. It's different position, but is idea um, sign. Say, um, is the one example good back is yesterday we go back barely later for the beach uh could to volunteer give all that example please for me okay guys participation can you repeat what is the the question um for uh, please uh, give volunteer for the sample the um, clean it up or, or different sentences for me. Other example, please. I pick up your toys. Okay, thank you. A uh, good, good example. Um, in the grab, he get up in the morning, nine a.m. o'clock. Uh, is a uh, other example. Uh, we go to the next with my partner for a conversation. Possible? Yeah, hold on. Is you here? Okay. Okay. Uh, right now we're going to you, to start with a little conversation. You see a phrase of verse. Okay. What what have you been up to lady. I'm nothing new. I am just in my home. And my friends and I plan to go to the movies, but we end up going tomorrow. Oh, no worries about it. Um, do you want to come over later to my house? Of course, I love to go to your house. I show you up at 4 p.m. o'clock. Of course, uh, I agree. I will I, I will wait for you. Okay, see you later. So long, take care. Okay, teacher, this will be our participation in the topic two part verse. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, everybody. All right, terrific. Thank you so much for your interaction. I really like the different ways how you presented the exposition. Um, let me give you my comments. Um, pretty much uh, the information was very solid. I really like your presentation. Uh, let's go over some pronunciation uh, mistakes you could have, but first let me put you a score. Let me put you a score right here. And I'm gonna be sharing your scores as you finish. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, now I'm sharing this on the WhatsApp chat. Let me see, there you are. There you are, there you are, there you are. Okay, so I just I just share with you your score right there. Uh, we have some pronunciation gaps like hem, uh, Joshi, like uh -huh. the uh, all subject, the subject, um, uh, object pronoun, right? Hem, hem. Ham plus plus change change 
please practice the pronunciations. PDF, PDF, that's a PDF file. You got to say it in English. PDF, PDF. PDF. Um, also, answer, answer, answer. Okay. Answer. Same, same, same. Okay, let me see. Repetitive, repetitive, repeat, repetitive. 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 <clears throat> and some corrections, like when you said, when you talk to someone by phone, you're going to use the preposition by with the phone, okay? By phone. Um, we use subject pronouns not to sound, not to sound. That's a negative, right? You put the negation word right there. Um, we use the subject pronouns. We use the object pronouns, not to sound. Not to sound is the way to introduce that negative idea. And it's a different position, but it means the same. It's a different position but it means the same. Hey, the rest of it, it's really nice. Good job on the conversation. I like your participation. Everybody give applauses for them. Great job. Congrats. Congrats, 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 congrats. And keep it up, keep it up, Thank keep it you, up. teacher. Absolutely. Good job, ladies. And let's go now with the next couple. Who says me? Who says me, huh? Do we have volunteers? Me, me teacher, me me teacher. teacher. Okay, let's go with Saul Who then. Did. He was asking for it, all right? Saul, who is your cup? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Who's there? Uh, Anna. Anna Mayor. Ah, okay. Anna? Oh, good evening. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Saul and I choose the topic number three. In Infinite and zero. Excellent. Uh, Saul will explain the infinite and will explain zero. Um, Saul, please. Okay. Uh, my classmates said that I am Saul, and this evening uh, we are going to, to explain uh, infinitive and zero. Uh, well, that uh, you know that uh, when we use the infinitive, uh, we need the preposition to uh, before the verb. For example, to cook, uh, to dance, to eat, for example. Okay, uh, uh, after certain verb, uh, for example, uh, we decide to leave. Uh, also, um, after many adjectives, for example, it's difficult to get up early, for example. Uh, um, to show a purpose, uh, for example, I came to London to study English. Um, infinitive, um, we need the preposition to, uh, the base for of the verb, uh, for example, to sing, um, and also uh, after many adjectives, for example, it is hard. Hard is an adjective. Uh, it is hard to make a dinner this late, for example. Uh, uh, you know that uh, it is necessary uh, to know that uh, we need uh, some, some verb before the, the infinitive. For example, uh, we had a uh, many list. Uh, let me give you some example. For example, a fork. Uh, let me give you an example. I can't afford to buy to buy it. Uh, one more example. Uh, for example, agree. Uh, they agree to help us. Uh, we need a. Uh, we we have a song ruler that in this case, uh, these these are the pair that came before the infinitive. Uh, let me give you a more example. Uh, for example, uh, ask. Uh, we ask to come with us. Uh, ask a uh, can can be before the the infinity. Um, well, uh, I think that uh, 
you know that we need the, the proposition two before the pair that is the, the base four. Uh, in this case, we talk about the, the present. Uh, well, just, I think that my class may uh, continue with the gerunds. What is the difference? The gerunds refer uh, to situation or actions that are being uh, in the moment. Uh, the structure or form is a uh, for plus ver plus uh, ing. For example, I use my computer for working in the morning. Is the structure the the sentence um, and also for example present continuous um, the gerund is uh, an is r plus zero uh, the structure uh, the sentence for example I am playing with my song in the park um, also, uh, past continuous was where plus zero is the form the structure sentence. Um, for example, the in the twenty six he was leaving Guatemala. Um, for for example. The present perfect continue and the form is a have and um, has plus being plus zero. For example, I have been working on this project for two years. Um, and only, thank you. I would like to say something about our topic. Okay. Uh, the, di the difference between uh, infinitive and gerund that uh, you know that uh, if we use uh, infinitive, we use to the proposition to before the verb. And if we use the a gerund, uh, we use the preposition for, for example, for cooking, for dancing, etc. Let me see, that was five minutes and 20 seconds. Um, I'm gonna have to deduct one point uh, because you didn't meet the time required. The time required was seven minutes, okay? And your exposition lasted less than, almost almost two minutes less, almost two minutes less. Uh, that's the bad part, okay? But the good part is that your exposition was very informative. Um, I can see you're very, both of you are very knowledgeable. Um, I didn't find so many mistakes uh, as far as grammar. Uh, so I'm gonna share with you your scores. Your scores right now let me see Sa sarah right sarah i'm gonna put you this we could improve a little bit your pronunciation maybe to help you sound more um native that will be the goal with you improve your pronunciation let me see and let me see saul i'm gonna put your score okay now let me copy this one and we will paste them on the whatsapp chat Okay, um, maybe Saul, uh, you could practice for me um, finding examples with the article and. <clears throat> I want you to practice this. I want you to find um, examples, nouns 
that go with the article and, and I want you to pronounce them as many times as possible so you can sound more natural in that part. For example, uh, when you said an adjective, you said uh, an adjective, yeah? When you, you said an adjective, so you, you had two vowels crashing there. Be careful with that. And every time you see something that starts with a vowel sound, like adjective, like example, like energy, stuff like that, you put the article N, and I want you to put them together, put them together to sound more native. For example, an adjective, an adjective, you need an adjective. An example, I have an example, an example, an example. I have an example for you. Uh, practice, practice that one to sound more native, to sound more natural. And let's see. Preposition in with the country, right? When you are in a place, uh, he was living in Guatemala, in Guatemala. So that's the preposition there. In pronunciation, uh, maybe the simple pass of come. How do you pronounce the simple pass of come, Saul? What's the simple pass of come? K. Mm -hmm. Put me the put me the letter the sound M. The M sound stress a little bit more like came. 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 Mm, that sound. Mm, yeah. Came. Come. Came. Come. Now the word rules. Rules. Rules rules okay and the word difference difference yeah the difference between gerunds and infinitives the difference because different is different right <laughs> so that's the difference good job that's your score you have any question no teacher it's okay Oh, wait, I told you I was supposed to deduct you one point. I'm sorry. I need to correct this. Yeah, it's because of the time, okay? I hope you understand. I hope you understand. All right, Saul, Sarah, do you understand? So Sara in reality gets 8.2 and Saul gets 9.4. I mean, 8.4 is because you didn't meet the time. But other than that, I'm happy with your presentation. Good job. Thank you for the examples. Thank you for your effort. Keep it up. Applause for them. Applause for them. Give it up for them. Congratulations. Very interesting. Next, volunteers. Do we have the next volunteers? Uh-huh. Mr. Brian World. Who are you working with, Brian? Um, good evening, teacher. I, I was working with uh, uh, Sandra Janet. Sandra Janet. Let me yes. see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Sandra, there you go. And Mr. Brian, right? Brian? Yes, that is correct. Brian. Are you ready? Uh, kind of, yes. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring it on. Let's bring Good it on. Try. Who said okay. fear? Who said uh, fear? <laughs> My mom. <laughs> <laughs> You can do it. Come on. Can, Let's I, go. can I share? Can I share something with you? Of so, of course. Okay. And uh, give me a second. Okay. Okay. Could you see it, teacher? I can see it now. Yeah, I can definitely see it. Okay. Whoo! What a nice presentation. Yes, teacher. I I guess. <laughs> okay. Um. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. My name is Brian, and she is my classmate, uh, uh, who is called uh, Sandra Annette. And today we are going to, to, to explain to you mother's verb. Uh, and after that, my classmate is going to explain to you uh, uh, gerunds and infinitive. Okay? OK, 
Okay. Uh, let me give me a second. Uh, okay. Um, first of all, we need to know many things about modal verb. Uh, for example, in, in this in this part, we have a modal verb, all modal verb. For example, for example, we have can, should, could, made, ought to, might, uh, might again, again, <laughs> will, will, and shall. But this day, we only we only we are only talk about uh, can, should, could, made and will and good, okay? Uh, first of all, uh, first, the modal verb don't have participle, for, participle. Okay. For, for example, the modal, the modal uh, will, um, we cannot say will, uh, like uh, we always say many verbs in past. For example, uh, we have the verb uh, clean, in past is cleaned with the sound, mm -hmm. uh, the ending sound. Okay, but with the modal we don't we don't do that. Uh, okay, after that they don't uh, the modal the modal verb don't have infinitive. For example, we cannot say I do to can or I learn to can. No, we only we only must use a modal verb. Okay. Okay, the modal verb doesn't, the modal verb don't have gerund. For example, uh, we cannot say canning uh, like we, uh, we say in present continuous. Uh, for example, we say in present continuous, I am thinking, I am trying, I am calling, I am um, drinking and doing things like, like that. Okay, okay, uh, we start we should uh, should is my first model and we use should when when we when we want to spread needs um, or we can say uh, i don't know uh, advices for example uh, we can say uh, you should study more you should uh, you should drink water uh, you should uh, speak we should with you we should talk with with her with him and that is the the moral okay okay the structure of the moral uh, first of all we need a subject after that we need the moral and after that we need the verb and on, we all we always use the verb in base form for example we always say um, we should try, or oh, we can say she should try, but in present, in simple present, we say we we need and we need in the third person we say uh, she needs uh, for that is a rule. But when we are talking with moral bell, we don't say that. Okay. After that, we have a model could. And we use could when we, when we want to, to request a, a favor, for example. Could you, could you tell me a little bit more, please, for example? Or could you hand me your dishes? Could you hand me your glasses? Could you, could you, I don't know, could you talk with me? Could you uh, walk with me? And that is a, a, a model. And we always, uh, we always use, uh, we always follow the same rule. For example, uh, we have uh, the same structure. Uh, first, we need subject, and after that, we need um, model, and after that, we need the verb in base form. But when we when we talk in negative form, we only add a not. For example, mm, for example, when we when we want to say um, could in negative form, we can say um, I couldn't. We if we 
if we if we use a contraction but we we always say uh, we we can say uh, i i could not okay okay after that um we have can uh, we use moral can when we want to express a, a, a skill uh, or abilities that we have for example i can say i can play violin i can play uh, i can play the guitar i can play soccer i can play basketball i can and learn very fast i can speak english i can speak spanish and that is some moral and we we can say can in negative form for example i cannot uh, speak english i cannot swim i cannot sing i cannot jump i cannot run yeah okay the structure is the same Okay, we need subject, after that we need a modal verb, and after that we need the verb. And finally, we can use a, a, a complement. Okay. Would. Would is a modal verb too, but we use would when we want to express um, a dreams or an action that that those actions can can happen in the future for example uh, one day i would like to get a, a car i would like to save a lot of money in my in my bank account and the structure is the same okay we need to use a subject after that we need to use a moral verb and after that we need to use a, a verb in base form with with that moral verb we can express uh, nor dreams nor um, wishes and things uh, like those okay will will is other moral verb but will uh, with the moral verb we can express uh, nor planes in the future and will is called a simple future too. For example, I will be a millionaire in the future. That is a, a plan in my future, but and the, the structure is the same. But when we want to express a will, but in negative form, the, we can say, I will not, or we can say, I won't, I won't, okay? Uh, for example, I will I will be with you uh, in the future. I won't I won't be with you in the future. Okay. And after that, we have uh, may may uh, is a moral verb too. Moral verb too. Um, but we use may when when we want to request uh, uh, something or to our bosses or our mother for example um, we can say a uh, teacher may i go to the bathroom or teacher may may i may i go early because we we are talking in a in a formal in a formal way for example yeah and the structure is the same but if we want to if we want to make a question uh, it's the same when when we want to uh, do we want to make sentence in simple present uh, for example the uh, structure change a little bit for example uh, in affirmative form we can say i will but in question form we can we must we must say uh, will i will i and uh, that is bad words okay okay uh, now my classmate uh, sandra janet is going to is going to talk about uh, gerunds and infinitives okay good good evening everyone uh my topic is infinitives and gerunds. 
uh, when we use infinitives and gerunds, uh, we're talking about to express use and purpose and meaning of use and purpose doesn't change. The structure changes, uh, for example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. I use my cell phone for calling my friends. And when we talking about infinitives, you need the, the tool with infinitives. Must use to plus verb and when, when you're talking about the gerunds, we need a, the structure for plus bear plus ENG. And I, I have uh, examples. Um, I often use my phone to send email. I often use my phone for sending email. When we're talking about the gerunds, you need for after the bird with gerund. Example, an electronic translator is great for getting definition when you don't know a word. Smartphones are great for communicating with my business partner when I am not in the office. Other, we can we can use a dictionary for looking up words during a test. And do you use a wireless connection for getting on an, in the internet? And another with another example with infinitive. Mm, I need a better computer to run all of this new software. You need to after the bear. In another example, I call my mom to tell her I'd be late. I used to wish a bike. And Jerons is a use for wishing a bike. And infinitive, I bought a box of chocolates to give my mother. And Jerons is I bought a box of chocolates for give my mother. And these examples, uh, the structure change when you're talking about uh, to give and forgive change, not the same. You need to and for. Another example, one more. I use an avatar to protect my, myself. I use a scissor to cut my hair. And my brother use use the mobile phone to send message message with his friends. And she hates to study. She hates for the studying. Uh, only that. That's all. All right. I have a question for both of you. Uh, what do you prefer uh, when you speak, when you talk in the simple present? Do you prefer to use the infinitive form or the gerund form? Um, in my case, I am used to use uh, infinitive, infinitive form. And you just did it right now. That's yes. great. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so 
the the advantage of knowing uh, this is structure, guys, is that you have more ways to express your ideas. The only thing is that you don't have to, or, or you have you have not to forget the rules and the fact that, uh, for example, with the preposition for, we use in an ing verb. Yeah. Okay. So let me. Well, first of all, applauses. First of all, applauses. Applauses for both of you. Give it up for them. Give it up for them. That was an amazing presentation. I really liked it. Um, I really loved uh, the way you presented your topic. Um, there are some observations. I'm going to tell you the good thing and the bad thing. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let me copy and paste all of this. Okay. So I'm posting it right there. Hey guys, congratulations on exceeding the time. Wow, you did it for, for almost 10 minutes. That was amazing. I love when you when you actually give more than expected, you know. Um so here it is, here it is. Okay. Corrections, just very little corrections. The structure change or the structure changes? Changes. Yes, that's a third person right there. Yes. Um, forgive or forgiving? Forgiving. For, for giving. Okay. Pronunciation corrections. Please practice these pronunciations. Module. Module, module verbs, module, 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 and express, express, express. Take your time to pronounce that at the end, right? Okay. And study, 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 study. Object pronoun, him. Object pronoun him. for he, him, 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 him. him. No, guys, okay. Hem, hem. Uh, messages. Well, singular, singular is a message, a message, message, a message. The plural, messages, messages, a message, messages. Okay, let's go with structure. Repeat. Structure. 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 There you go. Structure. And okay. first of all, first, first of all, 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 okay. First of all, hey, you, if you have problems with that, practice it. First of all, or you can say first off. Have you first heard that off. one? First off with the preposition of. First off. First off, first was off. That, yeah, that's that's the on the way to say first of all, um, future, 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 future. Okay, and there you have your scores and your good things. You're very knowledgeable. You have great speaking skills. It's very little uh, that <laughs> I, what I could correct on you, and that speaks a lot. That speaks by itself. You have come here because of all your efforts, <laughs> right? No, but listen, uh, you are you are on the um, on the way to become a bilingual, like full bilingual, uh, because you have a good knowledge. Now it's just a matter of uh, trying to sound a more natural, more more native speaking way, and that's it. That's it. You're almost ready to go. Okay. Hey, teacher. Thank you so much. And congratulations for working very well. Sandra also did great. Okay, congrats. Applauses for you. Who's next? Oh, Thank you. Wait, we don't have more time. Me? 
I wish I could. Yes. No worries. No worries. We'll continue on next class, guys. It's very fun to hear you and to see you performing and developing your skills, showing your knowledge. You know, it's really nice. You know, this is a big group. This is a big group and it is very difficult for me to to um, interact with all of you. So this is a great activity for me because uh, I get the chance to to hear and, and to capture any kind of uh, things uh, that will be very useful for you in your future if I correct those mistakes. So that's what we're doing right now. Let's go ahead and cover call the attendance right now. And that will be all. I think tomorrow we don't have class. Do you know about that? Yes, sure. We do we don't. or we don't? Yes. We, 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 we do? Have. We don't? I will need to check my calendar and wait for confirmation. I will check with my boss yeah. if tomorrow we have or we don't have. Let me call the no. attendance. I think we don't. I think they said it was only two Fridays, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. But yes. the... That's correct. Monday, it's true? It's true. Uh -huh, the Monday don't have class. It's true. On Monday, we missed the class. So that's why we need to wait for a confirmation. Okay, guys? Teacher. Yes. Maybe we don't have classes tomorrow. Maybe. I need to check, my brother, because remember that on Monday, last Monday, we didn't have that class. Okay. I had class in my mind. Yes, I know. So, <laughs> so wait for the confirmation tomorrow on the WhatsApp chat. Okay. Let me call the attendance right now. Ana Julia Mayora Abel, uh, Rodriguez, perdón. I will get sick. <laughs> Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here teacher. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. I'm here teacher. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. Present teacher. Okay, Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Present. Emma Jamilet Correa Madrid. Present teacher. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Present teacher. All right, Josh Beth. Abigail Mora Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. It is Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Here, teacher. Joel Ulysses Menjivar Mendoza. Present teacher. All right, Josue Neftali Sivrian Hernandez. Present teacher, I'm here. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. Marbelli Jocelyn Alemán de Santos. Okay, Manuel. Okay, Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Thanks so much. Thank you much. Natalie Geraldine Flores Goldames. I'm here. All right, Nelson Rolando Melgar. Present, teacher. Thank you much. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Pablo, present teacher. Present, oh. teacher. present here. Perfect, Oscar. Welcome. And Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga, are you there? Yeah. All right, great. Uh, Patricia Veronica Salazar de Morales. Okay. Uh, Rene David Calderon Peñate. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Uh, Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. I'm here. Sara Maria Molina Cubias. Present teacher. And Saul Arnulfo Menhever Crespin. Who already had an exposition. All right, guys, this is it for today. Uh, again, I appreciate what you're doing. Uh, keep tuned. Keep tuned for tomorrow. We still need to check if we have or don't have class tomorrow. We need to confirm that tomorrow during yeah. the day. Yes? In the chat, say that uh, tomorrow. So we do have class tomorrow. In the chat, yes. 
It's confirmed. Uh, la señorita nos confirmó en el chat. It's confirmed. We continue with the expositions tomorrow. Hey, the good thing is that the ones who are going to uh, have the exposition tomorrow, you will have one additional day in case you need to add or, or take out some information into your presentation. Night, night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Be safe. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah. Chill out. Bye-bye. Get some sleep. See you later.